So in this video, I'm actually going to show, um, a, I don't know, maybe like 50, 60, I don't know, dozens, dozens of, of migrants just breaking out of the Tapachula um, Refugee Center. And it's not even a refugee center, they just have them right there in the I&M building, so they won't, um, you know, to cause problems or, or give the people problems, or the people just, you know, okay, uh, whatever. So I was supposed to make a video about this one and the Cubans, so we're going to watch this one first. Check it out. These guys forced themselves out, and the Cubans broke themselves out. So check it out. inútil de la Policía Federal y el Instituto Nacional de Migración por contenerlos, decenas de migrantes escaparon de la estación siglo XXI. Alright, so, in, in all, there's been six attempts already, there's, I mean six attempts, there's been six escapes already since, uh, since May. Um, so, from a petty attempt to keep the migrants in there, also a petty attempt from the INM to keep them there they escaped obviously they escaped and the problem here is that i swear dude i feel like these uh these cops don't even want to work they don't like look at them they're here just watch they look at them look. <laughs> de mayo van seis fugas de este tipo so far i mean there's been it's been very silent it's been very silent about the migrants but the migrants are traveling they're already going to the border they're ha they're at the border already i mean they're everywhere they're freaking everywhere you know what i mean i start i, I kind of stopped making these videos or posting these videos because it's it's somewhat it's somewhat here in mexico irrelevant anymore but at the same time like it's just like we're just watching the fries you know what i mean I don't want to just keep watching the fries. I want the burger. You know what I mean? I, I want to see. I want to know or see their next big thing that they're trying to do. That's why I don't report these small things. But I'll report them for you guys, for because you guys, I know you guys see me and like I'm not reporting anything. I'll report them for you guys. So yeah, check this. Video Relaciones out migratorias de Tapachula, donde los extranjeros asegurados reclaman malas condiciones y buscan evitar ser deportados. Yeah, so the migrants are just complaining about how how their stay is in these facilities, and they don't want to get deported. They're trying to do um, they're trying to do what they got to do, I guess, in a sense, because they don't want to be in those facilities too. They want to be free, but I mean they're illegal, so they can't be free. Say the the government has to keep them in a, in an area where at the same time the the Mexican citizens don't feel obligated to you know, do justice their own way, or feel threatened by them, serious shit, like, it's, it's a two-bladed thing right there, so let me show you the other one too, where the Cubans broke out, okay, <laughs> alright guys, so, this video is about the Cubans escaping from the Tuxla Gutierrez facility of the INM, so these guys actually forced them, forced themselves out, and at the time, there wasn't that many guards to actually safeguard that area. They left. A majority, a big majority of. Beneficios, 
So I overheard him say that, oh, I just, so the camera passed by the guy uh, that works for your name right there. And I was talking to the girl that with the, with the, I forgot what it was called. She, he was telling her that, well, what are you going to do? Are you going to, are you going to stay here or are you going to leave? And I guess the lady said, I don't know. What do you, what do you recommend? And the guy was like, well, look, if you go out there, then we're not going to help you no more. You're going to be by yourself. If you need something, you're going to have to, you're going to try to get it by yourself now. And if you stay here, we can still be helping you guys, and we and you guys are gonna have a place to sleep and eat. And I like that. I like how I like how he told you that, for real. I like how he told you that. That's what I'm telling you guys right now. And that's the video, guys. So, yeah, that's that's the video that I was telling you to. The, the two videos about. Okay, so in this video, this was on May 11th. Um, on in this video, the INM facility, the same one in Chiapas that receives all these other migrants caravans, uh, this station couldn't control the population that came from. It was, I guess, uh, Haiti, India, Asia. And Africa, yeah. So there's there's people that came from these from these from these areas, and it it was chaos at this station. And here's the video to show you what it was at that time on May 11th. So, I guess, right, so I'm guessing a lot of people are trying to cut. A lot of people are trying to um, save spot for people or bring people into the line. And what this lady's trying to, uh, the I and M lady's trying to do is trying to get order so that people can start forming the lines. And I guess she's orienting them on what they got to do. Are you seeing this shit? They don't fucking listen. Like they, they're all like that dude's like trying to. I was gonna say their own kind. I, was, I swear, but they're they're like that dude's not fucking. I don't know, bro. That that hella that hella messed up. Like what the fuck is going on down there? <laughs> So what they're trying to say is those dudes right there are trying to say, you know what, that those, the girls in the front are not first. The girls in the front, the, the line starts right here, and they're pointing at the, at the woman that's supposed to be the, fir the, front, the first person in line. 
So yeah, it, I mean, obviously, as you guys can see in the video, it's chaos. <laughs> I like how it, it went from it went from the line being organized and then like everyone went to the door. Like that. Uh, some of you guys might be asking, Dragon, did you show us this video already? No, this is a different one. The video I showed you guys, <clears throat> it was like the same situation, but it wasn't it wasn't with these uh with these groups that are coming from Asia, Africa, Haiti and um So, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that are going on. Honestly, there's a lot of sh there's a lot of shit going on.